there are a lot of claims on the internet that paying IRS taxes are voluntary, and I want to say that that is absolutely and unequivocally incorrect. My name is Megan, and I've been a CPA for nearly 20 years, and my professional regulations as a certified public accountant, licensed by my state, and authorized to practice before the IRS, um, there's no good conscionable reason where I would agree that income tax is voluntary. And look, online, there are individuals called sovereign citizens who make the claim that they are actually corporations and they have not authorized taxation and they use frivolous arguments in order to justify not paying tax. I don't argue with them. If that's what they want to believe, they can go off to their side of the internet Um but if you're looking for how to stay on the correct side of the IRS in a way that also works for you where you're not overpaying on your taxes, hi, come to a CPA who understands tax planning, who understands how to use the tax code against itself rather than making frivolous arguments. And in case you like to do your due diligence, relevant U.S. case law that supports the fact that taxes are not voluntary and people do get in trouble for um, going through tax schemes that say that taxes are voluntary, you can look at United States versus Shift, and that happened in the Ninth Circuit in 2004. And basically, the Ninth Circuit um, affirmed a federal court's preliminary injunction barring Erwin Schiff, Cynthia Noon, and Lawrence Cohen from selling a tax scheme that fraudulently claimed that the payment of federal income tax is voluntary. And so there were criminal trials involved. People got in trouble. People went to jail. And so, no, taxes are not voluntary. In the context of this comment, if you click through and go back, it's on a video that I posted about beneficial ownership information reporting or BOI reporting. That's not an IRS thing. That is through the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, and that's part of the U.S. Department of Treasury, which also is the granddaddy of the IRS as well. So like, it's like the little sister of the IRS, and it's just um, beneficial ownership information. You're just telling the federal government that you own an LLC or a corporation since the state departments are not linked in federally. Um, so yeah, you do not have to do that if you are not an LLC or a corporation. So if you're an independent contractor who's paid on a 1099 as your individual person, that does not apply to you. If you have any questions whatsoever or need assistance during this tax season, head to the top of my page, click the link that says work with me and we can see what me handling your taxes or your monthly bookkeeping would look like for you.